بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everybody Today I'm going to explain lesson plan The topic is potential and kinetic energy Learning objectives Students will be able to differentiate between potential and kinetic energy Students will be able to describe what causes potential energy to change into kinetic energy. Hello everybody. Today we will be learning about potential and kinetic energy. Who can tell me what is energy? Yes? Thank you. Yes? Thank you. Yes? Thank you. Good job. Energy is ability to move, ability to do work. Okay? I have another question. Where does energy come from? Yes, 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 okay, thank you. Energy comes from all sorts of sources, such as the sun, wind, petroleum, and the muscles inside our bodies. Okay, so today we are going to be learning about the different types of energy potential and kinetic I display this picture on the whiteboard please what do you think will happen this is car and this is ramp Yes, 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 thank you. If I push this car down the ramp, what happened? Yes, yes, thank you. The car went down. Did the car have energy? That the car moved, so it has energy. The car has energy when it goes down the ramp. When the car is moving, it has kinetic energy. So, Kinetic energy is energy in motion or the energy of a moving object. I give you a few examples of kinetic energy use, such as walking, running, swimming, and rock filling. Now I have another example of, about this picture what the car was doing before it was pushed down the ramp. This car. Was it moving? No, no, no. Good job. So, does this car have energy while it is sitting still? No, no, no. Energy is the ability to move, the ability to do something, yes. Does this car sitting here have the ability to move? No, no, no. Good job. What happened when I or you pushed 
this car. The car moved. Good job. Why the car moved? Because the car can potential move. This car has energy even when sitting still. Here, the car is waiting, ready to move. This type of energy is called potential energy. What is potential energy? Potential energy means stored energy, energy ready to use. Okay? I give you a few examples of potential energy use, such as standing and sleeping. If this book has potential energy, this book has energy when it is sitting, not moving, okay? This is potential energy. The definition of potential energy is energy ready to use all stored energy, okay? Now I'm going to give you examples or different examples of potential and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, for example, a flying bird, a car speeding in the highway, or a moving pendulum. And potential energy electric current on a wire, magnetic bull or bush, a book on a table before it fills. Okay? Now, I'm going to submit every student kinetic and potential energy worksheet. Please write your name the date and answer these questions. Okay. When I sitting or standing, who can tell me it is Potential energy or kinetic energy? Yes, 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 good job. It is potential energy. When I start walking, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Okay? Any student have questions? Okay. Now, I'm going to display this video to explain potential and kinetic energy. The guy... Sam, watch it! Yikes! Did I get you? <laughs> no, but be careful. Those hands of yours are a potential disaster. <laughs> Actually, they're more like a kinetic disaster. Uh, Sam, what are you talking about? Energy. Potential energy and kinetic energy, to be exact. It's science. No, I'm pretty sure it's clumsiness. Well, energy is the ability to move or cause change in matter, and there are all kinds of it. I don't know, Sam. Let me explain. The movement of my hands is kinetic energy, which is caused by movement. It's energy in use. When my hands hit the glass, the kinetic energy from my hands released the potential energy of the glass. What's the difference between kinetic and potential energy? Potential energy is the possible or stored energy something has. When an object isn't moving, like the glass, it's got potential energy. Things like how high up the glass is and how much mass the glass has can make its potential energy more or less powerful. Kinetic energy can release that potential energy. 
So when you hit the glass, you turn its potential energy into kinetic energy. Exactly. Potential and kinetic are the two types of energy, but energy comes in many different forms. Like sound, the energy of vibrations within matter. When the glass struck the floor, crack! It sent vibrations through the room and created sound. Is sound kinetic energy? Yup, sound is the movement of vibrations through matter, so it's kinetic. The music, the chatter of the other diners, even the clinkety clank of the plates and silverware. All sound. Speaking of sound, know what sounds good? Food. Hey, food gives you energy, right? It does. There's thermal energy and chemical energy in a plate of food. Really? Yeah. Thermal energy is heat and it's kinetic. It's the motion of atoms and molecules in matter. When we touch the food, the heat is transferred by conduction from the hot food to our fork and mouth. The steam is thermal energy being transferred by convection into the air. That's a lot of kinetic energy. Definitely. The food also stores chemical energy, potential energy in the chemical compounds that's waiting to be released. When we eat the food, our body burns it and releases the chemical energy stored in the food. When you burn something, doesn't that create heat? Yeah. When chemical energy is released, it turns into thermal energy. Cars work the same way. They burn fuel and turn it into thermal and mechanical energy in order to run. Seems like some types of energy are connected. All energy is connected. It just keeps moving from place to place. There are more types of energy that we haven't even talked about yet just in this room. More? Oh, yeah. Electrical energy, radiant energy, Whoa, whoa. One at a time. I know electrical energy. That's what we use to run appliances and lights, right? Yep. Electrical energy is the movement of electrons through the world. It can be transferred into both radiant and mechanical energy. Is radiant energy like light? Exactly. Radiant energy can be light from the sun or any other light source. And electrical energy is connected to mechanical energy, too. How? Well, electric motors transfer the electric energy into mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is then used or stored in moving gears, axles, wheels, or other parts. It can be potential energy, waiting to be used, or kinetic energy when the parts are in motion. Gee, Sam. Energy may just be the ability to move or cause change in matter, but it certainly takes a lot of different forms. Whether it's matter in motion, like kinetic energy, or potential energy stored, ready and waiting to be used, there's no escaping it. Energy is absolutely everywhere. See? Told ya. And you thought, oh! And now spaghetti sauce is everywhere, too. Sam. Uh, sorry. Sam, put the fork down. Okay. Now I'm going to display this sheet on the white port and be careful to explain the kind of energy, potential and kinetic energy. I'm going also to submit the sheet to answer two questions, okay? Okay. Also, I am going to sub submit this sheet to answer four questions. After that, uh, we discuss the answer as a class, okay? Please write the answer in, in your notebooks. Now, I'm going to give you worksheet to complete the this question. Okay. Who co who can tell me what is the definition of kinetic energy? Yes? Yes? 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Who can tell me what is potential energy? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Kinetic energy is energy in motion or the energy of a moving object. And potential energy is energy ready to use or store energy. Because uh, before you leave the class, I give you assignment and you can find it uh, on the Google Classroom. This is the worksheet to answer these questions. Okay. Thank you for watching. Now.